cardiomyopathy in my last video I explained that actually it's a condition which is brought about by extreme stress um, uh, but the uh, interesting thing is that if you put the person and patient on medications the echocardiographic ultrasound appearances of the heart uh, appear to normalize after about three months uh, what is very interesting, however, and this became very apparent when I was invited to a Takatsubo Patient Awareness Day, is that people may have had this and then three months later they've been told that their heart looks normal and they're now over this Takatsubo. However, I was amazed to meet so many people, so many women, who turned around and said, yes, I had my Takatsubos a year ago, but I still don't feel right. I still don't feel well. Why don't I feel well when I've been told that my heart now looks normal on the scan? Why do I still not feel right? And this is a ton of women say this. And until recently, we haven't known why. So I wanted to share some new insight into this with you. Um, but one of the one of the things with this kind of thing is that it seems to affect people, um, women, postmenopausal women, and in particular, um, women who may be emotionally more vulnerable. Uh, so it seems to affect them. And in the past, what we've done is we've done a um, heart scan and echocardiogram. We've looked at the heart and we say, oh, well, in three months time, after three months of treatment, everything has come back to normal because your appearances on echocardiography look normal. Uh, then when these people come back and say, look, I'm still getting breathless, I'm still getting palpitations, we ha as doctors have assumed that maybe emotionally, because they were more emotionally vulnerable people to start off with, maybe emotionally they've not really come to terms with it, maybe it has precipitated anxiety, maybe that is why they continue to get these symptoms, i.e. they have not handled it mentally as well. And this is what the traditional thinking was, because in some ways, the kind of patient group that this was affecting were people you know who who were more prone to uh, uh, stress etc however um, what is really interesting is that there was a really interesting um, uh, paper that was published in the circulation journal uh, towards the end of last year 2017 the lead author is caroline scally s-c-a-l-l-y the last author is dana k Dawson, D-A-W-S-O-N, it was in circulation journal, and I'll put the link uh, at the bottom. But what these people did was they looked at 37 women who had had, um, who had, had uh, Takatsubos over a year ago, so an episode of Takatsubos over a year ago, and they took these 37 women and they compared them to 37 normal women, people who hadn't had the Takatsubos, um, who were otherwise age and sex and core morbidity matched, okay? And what these guys wanted to do was try and work out whether was it just that these women who'd had the Takatsubas were emotionally affected and that's why they'd continue to get their symptoms or whether it was something else. And what they found was incredibly interesting. Okay, The first thing they found was that actually even up to 20 months away from the episode of Takatsuba, this is 20 months away. Remember, Takatsuba is generally on echocardiography gets better after three within three months. These women had their Takatsubas 20 months ago and they were still complaining of symptoms. Um, here we go. Let me tell you, 37, uh, the, so 88% of these women continued to complain of some symptoms. So the majority complained of uh, tiredness, you know, so 74% of these women continue to complain of tiredness after their Takatsubas event. 43% of these women complained of um, breathlessness. 8% uh, of these women complained of palpitations. This is 20 months, a mean of 20 months since their episode of Takatsuba. And 8% also continued to complain of chest pain. So the question was why? Uh, and what these guys did is they did some more sophisticated measurements of the heart function using MRI scan, using echocardiography. And they also made these women exercise and they compared them to 37 women who had never had Takatsubas. And what they find was really what they found was really interesting. The first thing is that those patients who'd had Takatsubos were not able to do as well on exercise 
compared to those people who had never had the Takotsubo. So there was an objective uh, deterioration or there was an objective uh, reduction in exercise capacity in those patients who'd had Takotsubos, even though it was 20 months previously, compared to those patients who'd never had Takotsubos, which makes you think that there's still a physical problem going on. It wasn't all in their head. Uh, the second thing which was very interesting is that actually when you start studying their heart in a bit more detail using MRI, using um, echocardiography, but more sophisticated measures of echocardiography, we found that their hearts were still, uh, well, these authors found that their hearts were still not normal. So the problem is this, that when we do echocardiography, we're using a very crude measure of heart function, okay? So the echocardiography, basically you're looking at the heart and if the heart is doing this, you say, oh, the heart function is normal. But the heart is a more complex structure than that. The heart is not just doing this. The heart also longitudinally contracts, okay? So it's contracting like this. It's also contracting like this. And echocardiography routinely, when we do echocardiography ultrasounds of the heart routinely, we don't measure this movement. And we don't measure torsion of the heart, which is another movement that the heart is doing. So when the heart is contracting, not only is it contracting like this, it's contracting like this, and it's also twisting. When we do echocardiography, all we're looking at is this movement. We're not really looking at this movement and we're not looking at this torsion. Uh, but if you use more sophisticated methods and start looking at them, patients who have had Takotsubos seem to have affectation of heart function longitudinally and also on torsion. Uh, which is very interesting because it tells us that actually this could be one reason why patients still don't feel right. It's not that they are emotionally not handling it. Actually, there's a physical problem. Now, this is still a very, very small study, but it does start highlighting the fact that maybe the way we assess whether the heart has normalized is probably very crude. And the other Thing I suppose it raises is should we stop medications after three months just because we've seen on echocardiography that the heart is now looking normal in the, in the crudest sense or should we continue these patients on medications in the hope that by keeping them on medications for longer uh, you would also improve these the impairment in the longitudinal function and the torsion uh, which probably has a bearing on the uh, patients in terms of both symptoms and objective exercise capacity so this is really really interesting and um, uh, i suspect that this insight may give hope to a lot of women who had their takotsubo several you know several